Hi, I'm Scott Haynes, and I'm a neuro-ophthalmologist at Virginia Commonwealth University. Anisocoria is a medical term for unequal pupil sizes. Some of the most common causes of anisocoria are physiologic anisocoria, Horner syndrome, third nerve palsy, AD tonic pupil, or medication effect. Sometimes it is normal for the pupils to be slightly different in size. This is called physiologic anisocoria. This can even come and go. However, if there's a substantial difference in the pupils, it could be a sign of damage to the nerves that control the pupils. A neuro-ophthalmologist can help identify the cause of anisocoria and determine if any additional evaluation or treatment is needed. Horner syndrome occurs if there is damage to the sympathetic nerves. This causes the affected pupil to be smaller and a slight droop of the eyelid. It can also reduce sweating on that side of the face. Horner syndrome does not usually affect the vision or require treatment, but it is important to recognize because it may be a sign of damage to other important structures that are nearby. For example, a tear in the carotid artery called a dissection can cause Horner syndrome. That is a potential emergency. Damage to the third cranial nerve can cause an abnormally large pupil. It can also affect the way the eyes move, which causes double vision. There can be a prominently droopy eyelid. Note that a finger holds the eyelid open in the picture. The most concerning cause of a third nerve palsy is a brain aneurysm. A third nerve palsy can occur from other causes too. AD tonic pupil is also an abnormally large pupil. However, the pupil becomes much smaller when looking at a near target. AD tonic pupil is not usually dangerous. Medications can sometimes dilate or constrict the pupil. The effect on the pupil varies depending on what the medication was and when the exposure happened. You can find patient information brochures on anisocoria and other neuro-ophthalmic disorders on the NANOS website.